so all you can see we are very close to hitting 20000 subscribers so if you are watching it without subscribing please consider the subscription okay you will be getting such regular videos on a regular basis and also press the bell icon and the today's topic for discussion is trickling filters and let's go to question number first that says biological treatment of wastewater can be done by okay we are at biological treatment and it can be done by aerated lagoon yes aerated lagoon do take care of biological treatment of wastewater okay it is simply a reservoir where aeration is done and that's why aerobic bacteria gets activated and thus the wastewater the sewage gets treated then anaerobic filter they are just fixed bed bio reactor that takes care of decomposition of the wastewater in terms of anaerobic decomposition then trickling filters are nothing but fixed beds of porous rock okay the porous material the porous media can be rock or can be hardened clay or it can be plastic okay over which waste water is spread evenly and slowly and recirculation may be provided over there to take care of better effluent quality okay therefore biological treatment can be done by aerated lagoon also anaerobic filter also trickling filter also that's why we will tick the option d all of the above all right now question number 2 trickling filter uses following biological treatment technique is it fixed film or suspended growth or combined fixed and suspended growth see when we are talking about media let's say this is the trickling filter we are talking about and this is the media over the media the waste water is spread okay this is not the to the scale uh, sketch but just for example let's see here and waste water is spread now all the waste water along with the organic matter gets clogged upon the porous media and a biofilm a mucus a slimy film forms over there which takes care of biological treatment okay a biofilm of the organic material and the bacterial action will take place over there there and it will be then acting as an active biological membrane that helps or that improves the treatability of sewage or treatability of waste water which is being sprayed upon it okay so there is no film or there is no biological component which is in suspension that's why the film the biofilm that we are talking about here in the case of trickling filter is a fixed film okay the film is forming on this media only okay there is no waste water in suspension and in the suspension some floating media have been added the stones the media are fixed over the fixed porous media the film is forming and that film is further taking care of waste water treatment it is a fixed film process nor suspended neither this combined fix and suspended growth process okay let's cut now the above the answer is fix film process the film is called as biofilm then trickling filter which is also known as fill in the blank mainly carries out biological treatment of waste water using fill in the blank bacteria see we are here in the trickling filter now since the media which is fix inside the filter and what we are doing we are spraying the waste water over here then spray spraying the water spraying the waste water or spraying the sewage means we are literally making the waste water to percolate through the media and get added somewhere onto the media onto the rock onto the plastic media okay that's why it is known as percolating filter okay since the waste water is percolating over and through the stone or the media which is fixed inside the trickling filter it is called as percolating filter okay and here whatever the waste water is undergoing okay whatever the waste water is going through the media is treated because of action of aerobic bacteria only okay aerobic bacteria take care of waste water decomposition or simply decomposition of organic matter which is present in the waste water that's why we call it a trickling filter as percolating filter and the process the bacteria is aerobic it does all its activities in presence of oxygen okay that's why trickling filter which is also known as percolating filter mainly carries out biological treatment of waste water using aerobic bacteria okay then efficiency bod removal efficiency of trickling filter is 90% okay 
almost 90% of the biological oxygen demand is met it can remove up to 90% pod okay then efficiency of a trickling filter is given by it is given by this formula e stands for percentage efficiency and e is equal to 100 divided by 1 plus 0.0044 square root of small u okay remember it is small u it is the organic loading in kilogram per hectare meter per day okay it is kilogram per hectare meter per day it is also known as unit hydraulic loading okay organic loading or unit hydraulic loading it is small u okay so the question is asking cost of operation and land requirements of conventional trickling filters as compared to high rate trickling filter which is also known as we short it short on it as hrtf high rate trickling filter okay conventional trickling filter and high rate trickling filters comparison see when we are talking about conventional trickling filter it requires more area more area means more cost it requires large media large amount of media then it develops thick biofilm which is quite ineffective okay we prefer thin biofilm formation okay thick biofilm is ineffective when it comes to biological treatment then the inflow is less it has slow inflow it has less inflow whereas where we when we are talking about high rate trickling filter it has high flow then it requires less area then it promotes the formation of thin biofilm thin biofilm is better it is more effective than the thick biofilm that's why when we are saying that cost and land requirements in case of conventional and high rate trickling filter the answer should be more and more it requires more cost it requires more land requirement it is slow also okay high rate trickling filter is better all the way than the conventional one then hydraulic recirculation factor of trickling filter is given by 1 plus r okay where r is nothing but recirculation ratio r is what recirculation ratio and recirculation ratio is given by recirculated flow quantity of sewage quantity of which uh, quantity of waste water which is being recirculated divided by raw sewage flow okay divided by raw sewage the raw influent the raw waste water that we are receiving r is what recirculation ratio then advantages of using trickling filter is that it produces highly nitrified and stabilized effluent okay when we are showing uh, saying that it doesn't require large area it is false when we are talking about a conventional trickling filter and specifically it is not mentioned in the question that we are talking about whether it is a conventional uh, trickling filter or a high rate trickling filter that's why generalized thing is trickling filter requires more area then it doesn't require pre treatment of waste water it is false it does require pre treatment of waste water it requires pre treatment as well as primary treatment that's why answer a is option a is wrong option b is wrong option c is only right which is it produces highly nitrified and stabilized effluent okay then rankine's equation for efficiency of trickling filter is given by it is given by e is equal to 1 plus r r is what recirculation ratio divided by 1.5 plus r and the quantity that will that we will obtain after calculating this is expressed as ratio this as e is expressed as a ratio okay so that was all regarding trickling filter hope you learned something new do press the like button do subscribe and also follow simplified learning on the hindi channel on telegram and on instagram as well on uh, telegram i will be uploading pdf of the same questionnaire we just discuss in this video okay till then take care bye bye